All right, guys, Anthony Super Service. Catherine's truck. Uh, quick rundown, Chris's is going. I got another video of the studs I got sent yesterday. It's comical. Maybe I'll put them up one of these days. It's funny. They were the wrong ones and already been installed. <laughs> it was funny. I'm trying to sell that. Okay, Catherine's truck, though, it sat. Had a little ticking noise going on. Where's the rocker at, you know? Had a little ticking noise going on. Which, yeah, I mean, 6'4", you know, it's pouring down. Uh, okay. Went somewhere. I don't know the whole story. I don't know. Well, how come we ain't got fender skirts on this? This is a nice truck. It's a real nice truck. But, uh, rocker, one rocker for uh, a cylinder one was taken off the rocker assembly. Just the one. Um, so, then the company went out of business. And I guess it's been a year. It's been sitting, doing nothing. I got a shop. So it came here and we just saw we're, what we're doing right now is just putting it back together, just seeing what happens. So it looks like right now we got an issue that was not there beforehand because it wouldn't have went to the shop because of high pressure fuel issue when it was just ticking because it's not gonna tick for you if you have a high pressure fuel issue. So the problem is that fuel rail, I did watch Darian clean that fuel rail out. I mean, brush wd-40 cleaning it spraying through it doing all kinds of shit cleaning it out because it was off the truck the fuel rail which has this fuel rail pressure sensor right there in it was not on the truck so that's you know it's a little concerning i mean hey, that means all the injector lines were open everything was open i mean huh? i don't know i mean but uh, so we put darian put oil in the fuel housing you know, try to throw a little oil. He said he put oil in the top of the pump, too. Just try to get a little lubrication. Uh, got the rocker assembly back on. You can see that one right there. We got that one put back on. Uh, valve bridges, we did it. Did it, uh, push rods. Uh, just on that one, though, because what we're doing is also has broken exhaust manifold bolts. One on both sides. So, and it's completely stock emissions equipped vehicle. So, uh, with 190 some odd thousand miles. So, you know, it's... Uh, 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 its biological clock has been ticking for a minute, we'll just say that, uh, without having any attention done to it. I mean, obviously, if it made 190,000 in uh, emissions equipped and everything, I mean, they, <laughs> but they're doing something, so that's cool. But we physically took it off. Okay, so fuel rail pressure volts is 0.5. I, I should go through and show it to you. I already had the computer in it. We've been messing with it, kind of had a day this morning, but whatever, I've already had uh, 0.5 and it's not moving at all now if we let the fuel pump run for about a half hour then it actually built up and started for about uh, I was a good minute it was a good uh, probably 15 seconds it was running and I didn't touch throttle nothing and fired up and then it just it just killed itself shut off so uh, oh another one okay cuz we're seeing if you we're seeing if some uh, just seeing the healthy engine I've never seen it run so we did reuse all of the fuel tubes because them tubes are 200 some odd dollars and we're not talking about letting it go right now. We're talking about making sure the truck will run before we invest in the fuel tubes and all the crap that needs to be invested in to put this back together to be 100% because this is not 100% put back together right now. Not one freaking bit. It's actually just uh, kind of got the life support on it with the paddles <laughs> and we're all clear to see if it's going to live or not. So... Uh, that's why we're like reuse fuel tubes crap like that because it's going to come back apart it's going to have to but for right now let's make sure it lives uh i'm looking at a pump i mean I'm, we're looking at a pump the the pressure control i think it was pressure control was at 55 60 percent it was just too too high i don't and i don't know a lot about the uh, internal workings of that pump you know so don't put me on the list of people that do know that so uh, but we we wound up taking the fuel rail pressure sensor out of the truck because I wanted to see. Hey, is it build? Is it actually building nothing? Because it's not changing not one bit. It's uh, 0.5 volts, which 0.49 is factory. 0.5 volts, where he's a couple hundred pounds in there, and yeah, it's physically nothing is coming out. And we, I mean, anybody said, oh, you got to prime it, you got to prime it, guy. Come on now, really? I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Uh, so we got an issue, sucks, but it's looking like it's going to be a fairly substantial one, which would be, it would be well into the thousands. I mean, it's, it's going to be in, I mean, the broken exhaust manifold bolts, but 
the bonus to the broken exhaust, the broken exhaust manifold bolts at the end of the day could benefit this truck in the long run because it would allow a fresh set of lifters to be put in it and it would allow the heads to physically come off. So put studs in it, right? That would allow that to happen. But the bonus that does not have that is because the exhaust manifold bolts are broken flush with the manifold. So there's a pretty good chance. I mean, I'm, I'm calling, it don't have to be cab off. It don't have to be, but uh, just pull the manifolds off, refresh the bolts. There's a whole long story about 6.4 exhaust manifold bolts that I'll probably make a video on and share it with you guys about my opinion of, of the torque setting and from the factory versus now. There's, uh, there's a discrepancy. So, but, okay, let's, uh, I'm looking at a pump. I mean, that's it. I took the thing out. We, we primed it. I, we also made... Uh, we got just this little guy right here. Look, quick and easy, quick and simple, to the point. You know, we're watching fuel pressure. It's, I mean, it's, I'd hit five every now and then, but it's a low pressure, high volume pump. So, so pressure isn't really, I mean, if we, if we had a quick gauge that we could measure volume, that would be cool, but I don't have that. So, you know, we just have to deal with pressure. But, you know, it's, it's, it's three, three to five pounds. I mean, a little low. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing a real healthy six pounds, but that's a bit much. Uh, three's good, whatever. No, oh, we did put a pump in it. The pump was, I mean, here's the pump right here. And we are more than willing to put this back in a truck to uh, prove that it is not functioning or we could just put it in a housing on the table. Yeah, put the power probe on it. Yeah, that's what he said. We could run it right now. So we put a pump in it and build three pounds. So, so fuel is pumping through there. I mean, it, it just sucks because if it would have been like fuel rail pressure sensor, you know, like a shorted sensor, then hell yeah, it'd be like three, 300 bucks, something like that at the most, at the most, and off to the races. Well, now we're over 10 times that. Well over 10 times that. <laughs> Those of you doing your math, uh, yeah, um, that sucks. I mean, to make it to where it's, you know, it's halfway decent. I mean, the, the all the way decent side of what I said would be 20 times that, probably about something like that. I don't know, Shit, or something. who knows? But, uh, yeah, sucks. All right, guys, that's it. I'm rambling. All right, have a good day.